What's up YouTube, PhD and Waves here. As you guys see the title, I am starting a beard growth journey. I will be using Minoxidil, and today I'm just gonna be going over my routine, the products I'm using, and just to go over why I wanted to grow a beard in the first place. If you guys didn't know, I used to have waves and I cut them all off. So now that I'm bald, I figured, let me start a beard growth journey. I wanted to start a beard growth journey for a long time now. So now that I'm bald, it's the perfect opportunity. I will be getting waves again. I'm not quitting waves forever, but I'm just waiting for my hair to grow back. And like I said in my last video, I have to wait for the back of my head to heal before I start my 360 wave journey again. So since the wave videos are on pause for now, I will be documenting my beard growth journey in the meantime. All right, so growing a beard with Minoxidil, it's pretty popular a lot of people use minoxidil to grow their hair so essentially minoxidil is similar to rogaine or it's pretty much the same thing as rogaine if you ever see those commercials people always use rogaine to grow in their hairlines when they start receding and minoxidil is pretty much the same thing as rogaine so using this product has become popular to use on your face around your beard area to grow facial hair and there's a lot of people on the internet that have seen successful results of growing their beard in using minoxidil so that's exactly what i did i purchased some minoxidil i got a six month supply so here as you can see this is the minoxidil and pretty much you just apply it to your face and it's gonna be used to stimulate hair growth. For me personally, I think it's gonna be very easy for me to grow a beard for a couple reasons. Firstly, I already have facial hair on you know, my chin and my mustache. And also, I used to use a derm roller to try to grow a beard. And I did notice I did start to grow some facial hair strictly from using a derm roller to grow in my beard area. So that is a good sign that I will be able to grow a beard from scratch. But yeah, the minoxidil routine is very, very simple. Um, you pretty much just apply the solution twice a day. And some other things that you can do is you can use a derm roller and you could also use like a hair growth oil to help stimulate the hair growth in your hair. So I pretty much just woke up. So I'm just gonna demonstrate the routine routine really quick. Right here I have the derm roller. I believe this is a 0.5. So pretty much I would just go in, roll it over my cheeks where I want my beard. And the science behind the derm roller is the little needles on the device basically harming the skin or damaging the skin. And then the re your skin's reaction is to grow hair. So this is a very good tool to use if you wanna grow a beard, if you wanna help stimulate hair growth. So pretty much with the derm roller, I just go in two directions. I go this way, applying a little bit of pressure, nothing crazy. And then I'm also going up and down. Same thing on the other side. It kinda hurts, I can't even lie, it kinda hurts. And after that, I'm just getting the Minoxidil. This is like a liquid. It's like the same consist consistency as an oil. It's it's more watery than an oil, but yeah, this is the Minoxidil. I like to get the dropper and I put it on my hand because I don't want to put the applicator directly on my face and then and then dip it back in the bottle. The bacteria is going to get back in the bottle, so I just drop some in my hand like this. I just take my hand and I just rub it on my face like that. I could, I could already feel like the burning sensation from the derma roller. Some people use the derma roller first and then they apply the minoxidil. Some people apply the minoxidil and then they use the derma roller. I'm not sure which way is right. I will do more research to see what's the most effective way. Yeah, it's pretty much that simple. Like minoxidil is gonna do the work. Um, I'm also gonna apply it to my hairline because I did notice that when my hair was growing out the last time that my hairline was starting to thin out a little bit. Just to preserve my hairline, I will be applying some minoxidil to my hairline. And then you also wanna use the derma roller on your hairline um, just to stimulate hair growth. But yeah, it's pretty much that simple. Um, before you start using minoxidil, I definitely recommend you do your own research on the side effects because there are some side effects. Also, using minoxidil is a very long process. It takes around two to three months before you start seeing results. But I did see some people see some results in the first month. It is a long process. It does take around two to three months. And the last thing I want to say about minoxidil is I heard that you, you will shed the hair first to the areas that you apply it to. So since I'm applying it to my hairline, 
I think I will start to see some shedding, but that's normal. It will eventually grow back. But yeah, that's pretty much the routine. You wanna do that. It's recommended that you do that twice a day. So I'm pretty much gonna do it in the morning and at night. Also gonna apply my oil, this hair growth oil. It has a bunch of herbs and nutrients that do stimulate hair growth. I'm not gonna use that much, just a little bit. because. And yeah, it's pretty much that simple. So as long as you're consistent, you will eventually see some hair growth. So I'm not really gonna do like weekly updates. That doesn't really make sense. I'll probably update you guys on a monthly uh, basis. So in about 30 days, I will be posting the next update if I see any hair growth. So with that being said, um, all the information is linked down in the description as far as products. And if you guys have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. Hopefully this video was helpful if you guys are interested in growing a beard with minoxidil. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.